Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series and guess what, even after ye yesterday's episode where I uh, was talking about all sorts of balance issues and all sorts of different things, Ipecac got updated out of the blue, it's been updated for you guys now for probably around a week or so but for me, just come out and I'm happy to be playing it, there's a lot of cool changes and I'm going to go through a few of them now, I know some of the people may not be as interested in the exact changes but I thought it'd be a good idea to just kind of briefly read through the patch notes and go through some of the most important changes um things like um added a ton of new alt path rooms thanks to the turtle melon that is me <laughs> yeah i made a ton of rooms I've, I've mentioned this before they've been in my game for a while but now everyone gets to experience those um the fixed turtle baby that's also nice and added in some alt voiceover lines for cards and pills that i uh, i voiced which is really nice i just offered that to the uh, to the creators um, freely, I w really wanted to make them for my just own enjoyment, and they ended up using them, which is really cool. Um, they fixed quite a few different um, FPS lag issues. They um, fixed a crash through the scratch cards. We know about that before. They changed crucibles to only be one soul heart now, so we'll have to see how that works. Other things that let you smelt trinkets. Um, they've uh, fixed some stuff that was running some old code stuff that was stopping like tier 8 going above 15 things like that which should hopefully also help with some of the lag issues as well um they made a few things rarer they changed the rng of the nerd beggars the card dudes the uh door mimics should be no longer can no longer be bombed after the punch the player as well as having loot a lot more along the tier of secret rooms they're nowhere near as good as they used to be now which is really really nice um the golden champion belt has a damage multiplier lowered from 2 to 1.5 and doubled its shot price as well uh, but yeah there's a, there's, there's a lot of really good changes in here oh they fixed the doctor grimaces as well do you know the ones that were firing just a million nukes at you um but yeah this is a uh, this should hopefully be pretty good hopefully be a very good update there's obviously a lot more in there as well but they're just the most notable ones so anyways so let's get in and uh, randomize and see who we might get and uh, just get in and play a run on this new patch and we get um lilith to mother and that is tainted lilith of course that's a that's a very fun one actually i haven't played as a uh, tainted lilith in a little while actually so i'm excited to grab her as our first um our first character for the epicac update but the epicac devs have said as well that now that this update is out they're going to try and push updates a little more regularly oh hello <laughs> they're going to try to push updates a little more regularly just to make sure that any major things that need fixing stuff like when we have the um the crash from scratch cards and stuff isn't going to be uh quite as prevalent anymore and should hopefully be dealt with in a bit more of a timely manner um so that's nice to look forward to and i'm going to try and help suggest balance changes and things i was talking a lot about it in the last episode but yeah i'm gonna try and help suggest various balance changes and things that the devs can do to make the game a little more on par with vanilla it's, it's already not too bad um there's there's not too many really really overpowered things it's just a few things here and there and a few of them were sorted with this update anyways so that helps i believe we start with one red heart as this fella so I'm going to uh, go and grab as much as I can here. Just to, just to see if we can get a blood bag, just for that speed upgrade. Health upgrade's nice, but the speed upgrade's really what we're looking for. Really? I'm going to put the coin behind that. Uh, and we'll quickly check out our shop as well here. Honestly, booster pack this early on seems like a pretty good idea. Um, we might not be able to get, use all the cards, but I think for such a cheap price, I'd rather have it than Spider Baby, I'll be honest. Uh, we get... Okay, so actually, two of ones and two of swords. We might actually be able to hear some of the new voice lines. It's going to be weird hearing my own voice in videos, but there you go. Lose all of your coins and spawn a number of custom pickup proportional to the amount... Of coins lost. At least 24 is needed for a trinket. So we can try and get ourselves a trinket out of that. Also we've got the high priestess of course. But yeah let's see. By the way it's a 50-50 chance. Of whether it'll be my voice line. Or Pedroff's which is the person that did them previously. So we'll see. There's one from Pedroff and. There's one from Pedroff as well. Great. <laughs> Didn't even get to show them off. God damn it. Uh, I tried. I tried. No it's fine. I'm sure we'll see one eventually on this run. Um, there's, there's, uh, I think there's like four or five pills, um, and of course they're horse pill variants, and there's four, um, four cards, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm sure we'll see at least one or two of them throughout this run. 
right. Unfortunately, you can get too much more out of that. <sighs> I'm going to say maybe... Yeah, I'm going to say maybe we can get Spider Mod. Would be nice to buy Spider Mod here. There you go. And I think we're on one and a half Black Hearts right now. Aw, I think we're on one Black Heart now. Um, we are going Mother, of course, so we'll head that way. And we're going to have to be careful here. We're going to have to be rather... Rather diligent of our uh, of our HP. Yes, we are on exactly one heart. But the straw, yes, I was just about to say the straw will provide us with red hearts. It's already provided us with, with one, which gives us an added uh, added layer of safety. And yeah, I think it's going to be really really nice to see um, enemies HP here. Oh my god, there's like pennies in every room we enter right now. See, I, I like it when there's stuff like pennies everywhere. But goddamn, when you've got low speed, it can be an absolute pain. My goodness. Oh, but yeah, I've, I've now actually recovered after the few days. My god, I'm getting hit a lot. Um, after New Year's, I, I drank heavily, but I'm uh, I'm somewhat okay now. <laughs> I made it through. But yeah, I'm ho I hope all of you did have a, a good New Year's. I, I very much did. I, I had a really nice time over Christmas as well, actually. I've so spoken about it a bit on previous episodes. But yeah, I got to go back and see family and everything. And it was it was a very nice time. Lots of half price things here. Uh, King Baby isn't all that good, but I think for seven cent, I'll grab him. Be funny if our Jello stuck to him somehow. Yeah, there's another red heart as well. Good, good. That's another one. Oh, I did not notice that smoke there. So we are in a pretty treacherous position here, actually. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a lot of health about, but I'm not doing so great in the. Uh, in the old spirit heart protection department here. I actually um, spent the spent the day yesterday. I say spent the day. I, I spent some of the day yesterday. Um, it's not a very good tears up actually that is it. Um, modding San Andreas. I saw a, like I watched a video which is like a video called like I remastered San Andreas uh, with mods. And I was like oh that sounds interesting. So I, I went and checked it out and like uh, found a tutorial on how to do it myself. And ended up like pretty much making it myself. It was really fun. I had a really fun time doing it. I, I actually thoroughly enjoy modding games in, in terms of, like, not just playing modded games. I actually enjoy the process of modding games quite a lot as well. Um, I, I find it really... I don't, it's not, like, I won't exactly say therapeutic, but it's... I don't know. I think, I think like... Okay, we obviously can't go for that. But I think, like, the, the sort of process of, of like, f uh, solving solving, like, bugs in your mods and, like and like conflict errors and it, it, it seems like it'd be just a pain in the ass and you'd hate it but i i, I don't know i i really enjoy it um and i i, I ended up doing I, I spent until about 2 a.m the other night doing that for san andreas and ended up getting it working and i've got my game to a point where although fps isn't great it's in a pretty stable position but then again it's an old game so optimization is pretty bad for it anyways i'm gonna try this just because i need a soul heart pretty badly yes um Oh god damn that that was that kind of chunked when I used the uh, the straw there. It kind of chunked. Okay, we're doing fine though. We're doing tons of damage. This isn't so hard at all. Uh, we got enough bombs as well for the uh, for the next floor. And actually, I just noticed these are some of the uh, some of the custom rooms in Ipecac that I uh, that I made with the Ipecac enemies. I think some of the enemies from Ipecac are going to be reworked and replaced in the future, but for now. It's really nice to see them. Yeah, I think, honestly, as much as it's not a huge benefit to us in the future, right now it's very important that we grab that. Honestly, shops have been so valuable. I'm just going to go in this one as well. Um, and I'm going to grab this here. Good, good. And we do have an extra bomb in there should we need it as well, which is nice. You need to stay away from me. God damn, I can't believe we've still got a wisp hanging in. I didn't think we'd have one this long. Ooh, be careful of the clouds. I just realized there's a explosive gas cloud there. I need to be way more vigilant of them, because the they are quite prevalent in um in one of the room packs I'm using. Cause it, 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 like the, the mod even states that it makes the alt path harder. And I'm definitely noticing that. I, th I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um, but it does mean we need to be significantly more careful than we would be otherwise. Because it ain't easy street. 
fine. Okay. Let's try and get this guy to eat a bomb. He jumped right over it, but I did at least hit him with it. Oh, you bet. I didn't realize I'd got him into this phase already. Whoops. Okay. We got him, though. We got him. That was a little tricky, but we did get a soul heart out of it, so that's not so bad. I'll bomb this before I forget. I'm sure I will. And then let's go and do our mirror path. We should be absolutely fine for the mirror path. There was only like one room on the path that I can think of that would be maybe trip us up a little bit. Our white fire's just down here. Good, good. Okay, so we do have to, we do actually have to traipse through quite a few rooms. In fact, we have to traipse through quite a, quite a lot of rooms, really, to get to our... Um... Oh my god. Oh no. We basically have to traverse the entire floor, which is not good. But at the same time, I think we can manage it. But it's not ideal, is it? We got a tinted rock out of it, at least. There you go. That's pretty good. This is a room that I don't like the look of. Them corn things can be pretty treacherous, so I want to get the hell out of the way of them. Okay, so this is the fly room. Again, th this one shouldn't be too bad. As long as we, um, as long as we take care of the, the host, the dookies early. Shan't be too bad. Shan't be too bad. There you go. I like the way that the damage numbers are also reflected. We'll quickly go and grab this. Okay, we even got an Eternal Heart. Oh, this has actually been very uh, advantageous for us to come this way. The question is, can we do the boss? I'm going to gamble and say we can. We've got lots of damage and we have bombs available to us. To me, that says go for it. We do get flight as well. Okay. Right, this 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 could be a very bad idea, but I'm I'm hoping I've calculated this and I've not made a mistake here. These guys, they they can be problematic. Just because of that jump they do. The jump normally isn't too bad, but the fountain of shots can be unpredictable to say the least. Um, what we get here, unfortunately, just pills. Although, I will actually, I'll actually take some pills. Bombs are key. That's pretty good, actually. Bombs are key in this situation. is pretty nice. Oh, really? You managed to get away from that? That was pretty tricky of you there, dude. Okay, didn't quite get him with a bomb. Okay, we might die. Okay, we, we, we just about did that. That was very scary. We got our fire rate up to a very good amount, though. Speed is really kind of pain in the ass right now. Of moving so slow, but it's fine. We can deal. We already got our piece. I don't know whether we're going to use the King of Diamonds or not. It depends if we get, like, a big influx of money or not, really. Ooh, another Tinted Rock. Nice. We literally spent a bomb and a key to get back a bomb and a key. What a value. Right. There we go. I don't know why, but it feels like you walk a lot faster when you when you see her chunk walk. Do you know the little the little sort of like chunk step that she does? I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes me feel like I'm moving so much faster. When I'm flying, I don't have that chunk step. Just, it just doesn't feel right. 
Okay, so we've gained quite a few good items here. We we did also gain a few that aren't so valuable, like Super Bandage and stuff like that. And then like Booster Pack and Dazzle's Coin that aren't really going to have long-term value. But at least for now, they're pretty good. Uh, we got our key piece as well, which is a uh, knife piece even, which is very, very nice. I'm very happy to see that. And we will keep on pushing forward. Right. Try and uh, utilize the um, the straw as much as we can. I think the straw does somewhat work off of our damage, so getting a damage up on our end would be really nice. Um, we only have two keys. So I don't reckon that's a good idea. We do have enough bombs to warrant bombing this, though. Okay, another one of the um, thingy rooms. Ipecac enemy rooms. It's, got, it's nice to be seeing them a little more regularly. I think a lot of the enemies fit in from Ipecac to this floor quite well. Hopefully I've made some rooms that are um, that are fitting and enjoyable, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping. Another two key door room there that we can't go in. We can grab that. Ooh, Mum's Pearls, nice. Hey, and we got a thingy here as well, look. Tinted uh, thingy rock. We've got ourselves a red rune as well here. Tech point five is too good not to take the. Um, do we want to just like crack this in here somewhere? I at least did this just to get access to the uh, the dice room. It is a reroll. I I'm somewhat tempted by that. I don't like. I don't think we need to reroll. I do think we've got pretty good stuff going on right now, but a reroll wouldn't uh, wouldn't be terrible. Oh my god, not me to get hit there. It's a hard room here. Eternal heart and a rotten heart. That's a good pairing. Oh god, this could certainly be a room that causes some uh, some issues for me. Okay, now that that guy's gone, I should be okay. Honestly. I'd say, if we hadn't got on something as good as Tech Point 5, I'd be re-rolling right now. But honestly, Tech Point 5 has made this run significantly better in the damage department. The main reason I was going to re-roll, really, is because our damage is pretty pathetic. I'm liking these mushrooms, by the way. I don't know what's uh, what mod's causing them to be this colour. Maybe it's their uh, Rooms Galore. Rooms Galore does some enemy colour tweaking, so wouldn't surprise me. Go. A fire rate so good as well. That's another thing probably regarding reroll that I wouldn't be super super hyped for. We have a lot of tears up right now and our tears are, are feeling very good. It'd be a shame to throw that away. Okay, good, we got all of them. Some tricky, tricky rooms here. Tricky, tricky rooms indeed. I know that Tech Point 5 doesn't fire all the time, by the way, but still pretty good. By the way, Nev I found that Never Named uses uses Jello like this, like, all the time. And he's, like, completed all of our unlocks like that. And I was like, that's a bit gross. Why would you why, why would you do that? Uh, ooh, what the hell's this? Ooh, this is Birthright. I got a mod that adds a uh, unique Birthright. Familiars that normally follow Tinted Lilith will instead follow and um, act like her Jello. Mm. Very interesting. I think I definitely will buy it, even if we don't have anything that works with it right now. Seems intriguing. Oh, wait. King Baby sticks to it already. Okay. That could be pretty good because the contact damage he does is not insignificant. We got a teleport. Uh, not the best item here for us, but not terrible. And I didn't really want to red rune it. I could red rune a key piece, to be honest, but I don't think it adds that much value. Okay, it's a nice amount of soul heartage here. Good stuff. Yeah, I think King Baby was a great pickup now. He does a lot of contact damage. Um, there's another soul heart there. We accidentally used a key on that one. Did not mean to do that. 
Okay, we should be reasonably okay to stay out of the way of things here. One of those fell in the pit. There you go. Mr. Dolly is a must take. Good fire rate increase. Two black hats. So, to be honest, the fact that we got all three soul hats and didn't actually need them, but managed to get use out of two black hats there is pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is only Ash Pit 1, okay. I was a bit scared that it was Ash Pit 2 then. But this is Ash Pit 2. But yeah, some rooms with these Singe Rocks as well. Look, this is pretty cool. I like the idea behind that. Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping we can grab some familiars here and there. I wonder when we create our uh, Locust with our Red Rune, how that will function. I'm guessing it'll function like normal. It won't end up following, but still, it'd be cool if it did. Unfortunately, got a bit of a big hit there, but... Right. Good, good. Is that a super tinted rock? No. I really thought it was then. I was convinced. Okay, so this... I was just about to say this is a good one for Red Room, but actually, no. I want I want you on my... Uh, I want you on my Jello. There you go. I've never had this Birthright before, so it's, I'm, I'm enjoying playing around with it. It's a very intriguing birthright. I think we're just going to go straight away and do the uh, do the chase. Luckily, um, this thing changes your speed down to your base speed, but we're still at base speed, so we're not. It's not going to throw us off at all. Uh, one thing I like about um, having Jello here as well is we can make some easy plays with some of these rooms that require us to like destroy barrels and things. Uh, a lot of the time, when you have like base tier rate, that becomes a lot harder. Um, and with this character, that is not the case. It's very, very easy to destroy them. Um, and a lot of the rooms, a lot of the new variants of these rooms contain um, barrels or poops that you have to destroy or even fires sometimes. So having a, a kind of sneaky sly way around that is, is really nice. Like this. Like, look at that. Just easy peasy. I did get hit there, but it's not a big hit, so I don't mind. We have rooms like this, where we can just one-hit these barrels and things. And we don't even have to, like, go to the side, because we can, like, shoot them through the walls. There's another one. I do wish performance in this area was a lot, lot better than it currently is. It is just not good at all. Mum, can you like fuck off for a bit and leave me alone? Oh, are you kidding me? This is such a painful one to have to do, god damn it. Okay. Got through that one eventually. Got ourselves the key piece. Ah, I got stuck on the key block. Fuck's sake. These are my favourite sort of ones. Ones where it's like... Gives you a few different options of what to do. And it's not ridiculously complicated. But it is still a bit of a puzzle. We lost two soul hearts there, but... Honestly, our health is in a pretty good position right now anyway, so it's not a massive loss. I just want my damage from my straw. Wait, what the hell? Oh, the knife sticks to it as well. That's broken. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that knife doing? Like, where, where'd we get a mum's knife? Hell yes, that's so broken. We're going to be dealing... Oh my god. I say we're going to be dealing so much damage. We definitely are dealing so much damage. Holy hell. Ooh. And the gift. The gift of life. Right. Now we just got to see if we can uh, find the secret room, which right now looks a little unpredictable. 
What in the flippity flip is this? Oh my god, that's a scary room. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know where my secret room is here. I'll try here. Nope. Um, could be here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got that. We actually can use the scratch cards now. They're not going to crash our game anymore. Judgment. Very nice. Right. Let's go back and grab the mysterious gift. Oh, a mystery gift, not mysterious, sorry. Um, I hope we get a decent secret room item out of this. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but there's still quite a lot of modded secret room items that I feel like I haven't seen yet. And do you know what? Straw, you can get red runed. Oh, it also killed these guys. Wasn't expecting that. Um, nice. Righty ho, then. Give us something beautiful. Do you know what? A lump of coal isn't terrible, but it's not what I was looking for. We also got Black Candle in here too, which is nice. S slight sort of combat room here though, like a trial. Okay, not too bad at all. I wonder how the Lump of Coal, um, the Lump of Coal thingy, uh, fly, Locust would have, would have done. I wonder if that would have, like, done more damage the further away from the player it was. That would have been a cool, interesting one to see. Right, let's refill the shop. Nah. Um, plus half a soul heart on room clear, 50% chance to replenish. That's not bad for 7 cent, I'd say. And then I think we just bomb it for one more reroll. And there you go, we got red stew. Ooh, this is a- whoa. This is intriguing. Okay, I like the fact that I could see those enemies before they fully spawned in. That was very nice. This is a very interesting room design for this. I've not seen any alternate Gideon rooms, but I, I very much like them. Especially when they use dumpies and stuff too. Did you see that bob and weave I just did through those shots then? I mean, it ultimately got me hit more than it should have done anyway, so who cares, but come on now. Got an angel deal as well here. Nice. We got revelation. Hell yes. Not only does that uh, quench our health concerns, so but that puts us in a very good position. Because we got flight and the revelations beam. Not that we... I doubt we'll be using the revelations beam all that much, I'll be honest. But just the flight and the soul hearts is very valuable. That's another one of those rooms. By the way, that little giga brain host make uh, enemies' projectiles have the brain worm effect, so that's why it's on this floor. It feels very fitting in the uh, the rooms that I created. So I'm hoping people like those. They're not too powerful. They see, it sounds like they'd be really strong, but then they're honestly not really bad. They sound worse than they would be. Oh, I got, I got door mimicked. That was a pretty good door mimic placement, I'll be honest. That was like... The perfect sort of place to put a Dominic to fully trick me. We do have a bed there. Not that I desperately need that. Okay. Still can't believe we've got no speed upgrades here. Confessional? Mm, I, doubt, I doubt we'll need to use that this run, but it's good to know it's there. There is a lot more items and ways in modding to uh, to gain broken hearts, mainly because of the uh, the mass demo items have a lot of broken heart related things. Okay. I would have liked to have gone into that Dominic room to kind of see the nerfed the nerfed rooms. Would have been nice. I think this is a soul heart. Ah, it was a red heart. Damn it. But don't don't worry. We only took half a soul heart of damage, which means the next room we complete will get healed for that half soul heart. That's a really, really nice little feature there. 
Especially on the early floors, I can imagine that being very useful. Rip of Greed, I'm just going to grab this um, just because we don't have anything else. Uh, also, these Waxer dudes are an interesting one for this floor from the Ipecac mod. They're not quite finished. Like, as you can see, the fire effect is a little bit buggy. But they're functionally, they're quite cool enemies and they work quite well on this floor. Um, we'll take this. We got that removed all of my um, soul hearts and it made a... All of my red hearts, sorry, and it made a Hollow Knight sound effect, so... Do not know what that means. We also got a Soul of Eden here, which is rather nice. Right, you're going down, sir. We do so much damage. When we lose this knife, by the way, we're going to be crushed. Caffeine pill. Thankfully, we finally got... We finally got... An actual speed upgrade. A joyous day of days. I can't believe it. A uh, hermit turns pickups in the room into coins value equal. Uh, we'll see if we need to use that. I don't know if we will. We do have one more shop available here. And we have River Greed, so it will be a shop. Oh, you bastard. Twice. Twice so soon. Just not paying attention. Another Soul of Eden. What the hell? I will grab at V um, when I find... Pro I mean, probably the shop would be a good place to um, mess around with that, to be honest. Uh, there's a glitched heart. Got ourselves a golden heart out of that as well. Okay, so let's check in here real quick. Humbling Bundle's kind of intriguing. Soul of Eden it and see what we get. Yeah, nothing great. Don't really know why I did that, to be honest. Um, do you know what? Let's, let's quickly go and we'll leave that there. I'm going to go make some money real quick. Not going to be much, but it's enough. Right, do that. Then go back and get a Soul of Eden. I just want to play with my shop a little bit here. I know Soul of Eden in the shop is kind of a weird one, but it does reroll into any pool and we don't need the money after this point. So I feel it kind of makes sense. It kind of feels like a, a decent opportunity to spend some good money. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely take Rotten Baby. There you go. I'm pretty happy with that. And it gave us Conjoined as well. Hell yes. I'll see if I can restock the shop here for anything cool. Little scanner is not what I would say is uh, an item I'm looking for. Do you know what? Just bomb it and see. We at least got some money back out of that. And we got the sharp key. I've never really used the sharp key. Do you know? No, we need the sharp key desperately. We need the sharp key. I've just had a brilliant thought. We need to be careful with how we do this. But I've just had a pretty brilliant thought. I do not like the look of this. But we have flight, so it should be okay. Okay, right. Go back and buy the sharp key. Basically, my idea is, if we use the sharp key, you can open up the flesh door with it. Which means we can keep our knife to do damage with. Because I was... A bit concerned. Oh, this gives you five keys on pickup. Wow, I should be picking up this more often from shops. That's really good. Um, yeah, essentially, the knife is dealing fuckloads of damage because of our birthright effect. It's it's doing incredible work, and we're going to lose it if we open the flesh door to go to mother. But if we... Um, I think we get one free hit a room with this item. Do you know what? Let's, let's just go find out. Um, yeah, if we use the sharp key, we can keep it and keep doing damage with it. Go to our inventory real quick. Right, this is a, a tier four. Grants the player three fl three free hits every floor. Removes all burn hearts, soul heart, and air heart containers, replacement with soul hearts. The replacement effect is ex uh, excluded for the following characters. Okay, so basically it's just like three holy mantles a floor, which is pretty darn good. I did notice I was uh, getting hit, but not taking damage. So that's our last one, I think. I think we've been hit three times this floor now. I found pills and ate them. 
Hey, this is another enemy that appears on this floor here from the Ipecac mod. They're pretty weak, so they may seem overwhelming, especially in high numbers, but do not worry. They are not too bad. I had to play around with them for a while and uh, test them out. Right, okay, so we still need to go to our item room. Let's wait out on that first. If this works, by the way, I'm saying if it works because I know it will work. What I'm saying is if I can execute it correctly because I've got to fire to do it, which means... Oh, really? I might end up accidentally losing my um, my my knife because the knife might shoot into that door. Oh, there's a Dominic there. Not a great place to place one, I'll admit. Uh, and this time we got just we got the double justice room. Okay. Also, the room is different looking. Um, yeah, I think we can uh, just suck it all up. These chests give out items pretty often, so we'll see if it, if it gives us one. I do think. They need to give items a little less often. Ooh, also this is a very good trinket for us too. Very nice. Oopsie, did not mean to walk into that. And here we get the poop or something else. Ugh, that was a pretty, pretty bad one there, that wasn't it? Anyways, let's skip off. God damn, this room's spooky. And we'll try and execute my plan. I don't know how well it'll work. I'm hoping I can get it to work. Okay, so Mum should go down pretty sharpish here. Wouldn't say super quick, but she won't exactly be that hard. Don't know why I stood there for that. Although I didn't get hit because it's technically a new floor. Interesting. I get another three hits because it's technically a new floor. Right, so. There you go. Kept the knife, baby. Kept the knife. That, that's a, that's, that's what I'd call a big brain player. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. Um, right, so we do have Mum's knife, which I'll definitely be picking up. Um, let's just check this out. The Cross of Chaos. Enemies that come close to you become crippled. Your tears can cripple them. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time and die after 16 seconds of losing it. When a crippled enemy die, they release a fountain of slowing black tears. I do very much want that. That sounds very interesting. Also, now we've got double mum's knife, or double knife, should I say. This is going to be pretty powerful, I reckon. I, 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 like, I'm so glad, because I've never actually used the sharp key to get through to the mum fight, so I'm very glad I remembered that that's a thing. And I'm very glad that this is the first time I got to use it, because not only is keeping the knife... A, a pretty big benefit to you normally this run specifically it's a really really big benefit to us because we actually have this jello effect where the knife is essentially adding to our contact damage of jello in a major way uh and it's it's providing quite a lot of extra damage the, the knife does do very considerable damage um, i'm very happy with this uh this strange strange thing we've got going on here. I'd love to see Turtle Baby um, as part of this. What the hell? This is not nerfed. <laughs> that seems hella strong. Also, we've got another Rotten Baby. And we've got Fishtail, remember? Uh, yeah, um, three Soul Stones for a uh, Dominic room that for some reason I didn't even have to open. But even if I did, it's still pretty strong. Both of, the, both of the Dormirk rooms I've seen so far aren't that much weaker than they uh, otherwise would have been. Uh, I guess I can take this now. We've got double cracked keys here. This could be interesting. Ooh. It did indeed re require a cracked key to open that chest. Maybe you have to be holding them for those to spawn. Intriguing. Okay. Very straight line up to the boss here. Thought I'd check this out anyways. But yeah, maybe you have to be holding them for them chests to spawn. I like it. That's pretty cool. Ooh, golden bombs. The soul heart's more important, to be honest. But golden bombs is, uh, is pretty decent. Oh god, I don't know why I didn't move for that. But don't worry, we didn't actually take any damage. We've still got two hits left on this floor. And there you go, we grab that. 
I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> this run has really come together towards the end here. It has really come together. Look at that. One hit. One hit. And then we're just... The double rotten babies here with fishtail is just... We're producing so many flies that are dealing... Not, not great damage, but not insignificant at all. I like these slowing black tier fountains that we release on uh, on killing enemies. That's nice. It feels like the right way so far. Another key. It's not the right way. I was incorrect. You never know on these floors. Honestly, the corpse is just... Ooh, I just realized that we can infect the leeches with the crippling effect from the, the leech that we get from getting hit. That's kind of nice. It means we can actually uh, create some, like, time bombs. To fire out those slowing tears. That's pretty cool. I like interactions like that. They're not in, they're, they're clearly not intended, and it's clearly like an oversight or bug, but it's it actually leads to some fun interactions. Okay, quite a treacherous room here. Okay, that's it. Come on, poison, clear out. I wonder if we'll see any of the, uh, any of the Ipecac rooms on this floor. There's only like 10, so probably not. C-section babies. Gotcha. And here's our boss. This should be a pretty quick fight, I'd reckon. I reckon so. This will be a pretty quick one. I think I'm actually doing more damage just holding it out like this, you know? I am. I'm doing significantly more holding it out. For a big boss that's very still like this, it makes sense. Not as good for actual, like, room clearing. Oh, and then we got Revelations as well. I forgot we had that, I'll be honest. I swing my feet this back and forth. As long as we're seeing those damage numbers tick up, all is good with the world. And we are constantly seeing those damage numbers. There you go. Technically didn't even get hit. That was a really fun run. We got a lot of cool stuff. And performance seemed to be much better. So um, thank you, Ipecac, to the, the patch. I don't know how much difference that's made, but that performance in there was pretty good. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.